So, welcome back, dudes and dudettes. This is, of course, one and only crypto enthusiast Lightliger here, and today I'm gonna be presenting you with this brand new multi coin wallet that is still in alpha, so there might be some small bugs and glitches in it. I didn't encounter any myself, just so you know. But to bear in mind, this is an alpha product, not the finalized version of the wallet. And I have to say, out of the all wallets that I have used, None of them are as visually beautiful as the one we're going to be talking about today. And without further ado, let me present you the Infinity Wallet. And this is currently available on Windows Desktop. There might be other versions down the road for Linux and Mac and mobile. But as the alpha version goes, it is available on Windows Desktop. And this is the actual main page and the home page of the actual wallet. And here on the top, we are able to see our wallet balance. So one of the things I like here from the get-go is that I see my daily balance. So on Wednesday, July 29th, our balance for the wallet was zero. And now it's 18 cents basically for, um, for July 30th. So basically every time your portfolio is going down or up, you're basically able to see how it performs here on this chart, which are able to set to one year, three months or one month. And that's a very nice feature to have. People need to have information about which of their currencies are performing well, how the portfolio is doing overall. And that's why it's a very important feature to have in many wallets. And I have to say, it's just not a thing on many multi-coin wallets. They just show you the current amount, but they don't show you how it has performed like for the week or so. And on the other side, we can see how much of each currency is compromising the actual wallet. As I have only Litecoin here on the wallet as I'm testing it still, that is 100% compromising of this wallet. And as we scroll down, we are able to see the active assets. What I like about here, it's showing us the prices, the 24 hour change, the balance that I have on my uh, actual wallet in terms of the actual crypto amount, then the dollar amount, which can be uh, changed in my understanding into, um, um, into euros or other currencies on the settings. And right now there is basically six coins listed or six chains listed on the actual wallet. And as I said, it's the alpha still, and there's probably gonna be a lot more assets to be added here on the future. Right now it's Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Shard, which is a native project and the coin of the wallet. And then we have Metrics, which is another proof of stake coin. And then we have the Binance coin. And as of ERC20 tokens, we have two stable coins, Feather and the USD. And let's now jump into the actual My Wallet section. So here we have all the actual addresses and we are able to see the transactions. And one of the things I want to talk about uh, is this one. So we're able to see what is the value now for this Litecoin and what was the value when it was sent to me on the, the actual date a couple of hours ago when I sent it to my wallet. So that's a very cool feature to have. Exodus also has this and they probably have kind of like, I mean, the layout and everything about it is kind of mimicking a bit of the Exodus style. And I'm, I'm fine with that because they have added so many other things in which are kind of like their own style or flavor into it. And this is a very interesting and important feature they have because you want to know what was the price that you bought it at and what is the basically the value right now. And you can also set the transactions to receive and send and swap. And you can also set out the dates, which is very useful. And here we have the same thing, one month, three months and one year. And then we have the receive tab. You can have your own address book here. So you can start adding your addresses here, um, your friends, your exchange accounts, etc. So that's a very nice feature to have there. There's also a swapping feature. We're going to be looking into that in a second. And here you can add the assets and there's also like chains listed, uh, stable coin, ETH token. So there's kind of like a people know who are new to crypto will kind of understand about the classifications of these things. For me, it's very blatantly clear what which is which, which, which. So that doesn't really, um, that's not needed for me. Also, the actual wallet supports adding new wallets 
in here on the tabs and you get to create one. You can use 20 or 24 or 12 word seed phrases, which, you know, whatever you choose, 12, 24, one basically gives you technically a bit of more security. So in case you want a more secure wallet, take the 24 word one version. And you can also restore the seed phrases here. And I think it pretty much works with other uh, wallets as well. And now there's also a swap feature. So let's say I wanna swap that Litecoin. There's obviously some minimums, uh, how much you have to have Litecoin before you can use this swap. This is pretty standard for any um, possible token, I mean, wallet out there that has the swapping functionality. But it's something that is very easy, very fast, uh, or not necessarily very fast, depending on the chains, obviously. But this is a feature that, you know, makes it a lot simpler. Obviously, going to be losing a bit more possibly on the fees by using swapping in general, uh, atomic swaps. And then you're also going to see the swap history on the actual swaps that you have done in the past. And I also have to remind people that there's an unlocking feature here. I'm not going to be showing the pin code because... I would have to blur it out for you, but basically you can make it so that the wallet can be locked after 15 minutes of inactivity, 30 minutes or one hour or five minutes, for example. So in case there are other people who use the computer, like in the family who don't want, you don't want them to access your funds. So that's a good, nice security feature there. Um, then there's a transactions tab. We kind of already touched upon here. This shows all the coins and you can browse it or filter it for a certain specific asset listed on the Infinity Wallet. Another feature, which is not very apparent on many other uh, multi-coin wallets is the news thing. So I can look out some news here, what is happening. Um, Amplifort, 75% plunge, as for example, maybe it's a good time to buy. I bought it at the top, <laughs> I don't feel like buying the dip right now as I lost so much, but um, it's a very nice feature and you can filter these out. So I believe you can choose like beacons. So it only comes from a certain source uh, of the news. So maybe you don't trust a certain source here. You can choose to ignore it and only take news from Crypto Potato. And you can also like put out certain um, tags here. So if I don't want to see any Zionist cash, Zio cash uh, news here, I can filter it out or I don't want to see any boomer coin news. I can filter it also out from the news. So that's a very nice thing. And there's really a problem for aggregated news in general in crypto when it comes to sites like, let's say, Optrend or Reddit. Certain posts and certain sites are constantly mode vote manipulated so it's nice to have certain aggregators in space which kind of give you a bit more wholesome look into the markets because that's really hard to find in crypto i'm gonna tell you that because so many places just show their own bags and download everything that is competition for their own coins or tokens and that's very sad now one of the other really really cool features about this wallet which i haven't seen in any other multicoin wallet is that i can see the actual charts, yeah. So I can see the charts here. Let's see how far it actually will go. Maybe it's the top 100 that it will show us. But we can see all these pricing, the 30-day charts, uh, the prices, the volumes, and everything. And this is very convenient, okay? Some of the things are not functioning here. Maybe they are coming from um, database, I don't know. But it's still very convenient for us. And I can look at here, the MCO, it's showing me all the charts here, um, I can put out the alerts, the beacons. There's also a list of the markets here showing me where I can trade it. Very, very convenient, I have to say. And here's some of the market stats. It gives us a you know fair share of market cap, 24 high and low, circulating supply, 24 hour volume. All of these great things, information that we need. Information is key in crypto. Remember that, guys, that's where the value is information. And there's also Wallet Connect. People who are not familiar with Wallet Connect, this is basically a way to interact with dApps with Ethereum. So I have an Ethereum address obviously here on Infinity Wallet, and I want to use that wallet to interact with uh, DEX of sorts. And I use the scan feature with my desktop, or I use the file import or the camera scan, and I can use this wallet here 
without having to go through MetaMask or any other uh, extension that the browser may use. Pay in mind, Wallet Connect is sadly not supported by absolutely every dApp out in the space, but many have it, uh, Uniswap and etc. And it's a very nice feature to have, just so you know. Uh, next up, we're gonna be going a bit into the settings. So first of all, we have the account settings. We talked about um, the currencies that are supported here. A lot of things here are, you got your shekels, crones, and uh, ringgits, uh, god damn this, <laughs> yens, and all, all the cool stuff, the rupees, budgets, we'll love that. And obviously there's language support apparently too for Spanish right now and English. Probably gonna be coming China and Korea because those are very probably high demand uh, type of a, uh, languages to be had. There's two skins here apparently, classic and dark. Okay, dark doesn't seem to be available right now. There's also push notifications which you can set on. There's also a sound that comes out when you reach um, money into your wallet. It's a very uh, nice sound because it's cash, you know, like feels good. And there's also a security thing setting up a password, the pin thing from four to eight digits, four is the minimum, and there's the lock, the lock wallet feature that I talked about earlier. Um, you can set it off if you don't like it. Um, here's the asset stuff, we already looked into this. Also in the address book, um, there's also the wallet backup that you get to do, and you can also view the private keys for all your coins in case you need to import your Ethereum address into MetaMask or something else where you need it, or et cetera. So that's a very nice feature. And then there's a support tab, which goes into questions and stuff like that. And overall, like for alpha version, it's pretty goddamn good. Um, two things that I would like to see in the future. I don't know if there's auto update feature for it right now. That's something that I hope to see. So I know when I open it up that there's a new version and it can automatically download it for me without any hassle. So that's one thing I wanna see. The other thing is, which is kind of minor and made for a bit more expert users, is probably signing messages with certain wallets and this would allow you to basically verify that I own this Bitcoin wallet, I own this Litecoin wallet and etc. And that always can be done with the Electrum wallets by importing the private key from Infinity Wallet into that wallet. And that's pretty much the rundown. As I said, visually, it's my favorite wallet. I've, you know, it's more visually appealing than Exodus. Exodus is like close second there. And right now I'm hoping that there's gonna be more coins for it. Then I will start to use it on a daily basis because Pretty much all the coins except uh, Shard and Metrics are already on other wallets that I'm using. So they have to get some proprietary um, things listed here. So I will get interested to use it more because I will probably move some funds here, probably Ethereum and tokens. But I want to have also the feature to add my custom Ethereum tokens, ERC20 tokens on the platform. So I can, um, you know, have a bit more freedom and, you know, kind of have understanding of my portfolio, if you get what I'm saying. And then there's also a feature to make it large, make it very small as well. And that's very nice. So it's compatible with a lot of things. On Task Manager, it doesn't seem to be draining a lot of memory and CPU. It's very optimized in that sense. And that's pretty much the rundown. Obviously, if you wanna uh, appreciate my work, you can send some shard into this address and you know, I will be thankful for that. Or in case you don't have shard, you can also send me Bitcoin into this address. These QR codes are really cool also because the, the color matches the, you know, the, the actual icon. So I dig that. And also, I, yeah, I forgot to mention this. You can also put these request amounts and you can like a print a QR code for like a payment of sorts. So that's kind of like a nice feature to also add on the actual wallet. But if you are interested, I'm gonna leave the GitHub link down below. And I'm definitely gonna be making more videos about this as more updates roll out and the full release uh, is coming out. Right now, as I said, it's like alpha or is it technically beta right now? I don't know, but this is not the full release of the wallet, but I'm very excited for it. It likes, I like it very much. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on the next video. And make sure to watch my other wallet reviews on the channel as well, because I have covered quite many in the past. Cheers.